Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Andrea here and we're going to continue to colour this lovely St. Patrick's one which I still haven't finished. I haven't done any colouring for a few days in this book. I have been colouring, just not in this book. Um, just to start with, I thought I'd just say that this is an adult channel. The videos here are aimed at adults, not children. They're not made for children and not intended for them. We do discuss adult themes and topics in these colouring chats. So I'm using the um, Arteza Everblend A4103 a Ginger for her hair. It's a lovely colour. Um, I haven't filmed for a while. Um, my phone is flashing. Um, because I've been off travelling with the Doctor in the TARDIS. Yes, that's right. I've been travelling with the Doctor in the TARDIS. Not really. I've just been watching old episodes of Doctor Who. Not really old old episodes of Doctor Who, so not like the 1960s, 70s and 80s ones, but the modern ones, which are currently all showing on iPlayer. So I have been watching um, everything from 2005. I'm on uh, series two, which is David Tennant's first series. And I'm on episode seven, The Empty Lantern, which is the one, uh, sorry, no, The Idiot Lantern, The Idiot's Lantern, something like that. Um, it's about the uh, Queen's coronation and people getting uh, televisions and things like that and being taken over by their televisions. Very strange, but um, Jennifer's been watching a few episodes. She's fascinated by Doctor Who. She's a bit young for it, really. We just watched the two-parter Cyberman episode, which was the first one that they used the Cyberman for in, in New Who. And of course it was um, in a parallel universe. Um, um, with the actor that played Trigger in Only Fools and Horses, creating the Cybermen. Um, so yeah, that was very good. I'm glad that Jennifer didn't see that one, because that one's freaky as hell. Freaks me out, the Cybermen in that one. So the old Cybermen in, in the 60s, they, they don't freak me out at all. But these new ones, or at least in that one episode, really, really do. Really, really freak me out. So I'm glad she wasn't out to see that because I, I was a bit freaked. I jumped a few times and I've seen the episode seven or eight times. Just not for a long time. So other than that, what have I been up to? Well, I'm on annual leave at work from work at the moment. Uh, a few days annual leave. Very happy about that with everything that's going on. It's still chaos in the shops over here. We went we went shopping today by our normal food shop, and we managed to get everything, uh, but we had to split it between Tesco and Lidl's. We normally try and get everything in Lidl's. Um, there's still no pasta. Um, that's the only thing we haven't got, and that doesn't bother me. I've got enough pasta for one more meal, and then if we want like a bolognese or anything like that, I just have to have it with rice. Don't bother me. Got plenty of rice, got a full bag. And there was still rice in the shop. Why pasta, toilet rolls, and now chocolate and alcohol seems to be disappearing. And I'm not actually sure why. The only thing I did do is I bought some Easter eggs for Jennifer for Easter. But there we go. We're not going to talk about that because, you know what? This is supposed to be relaxing and fun and we're not thinking about everything that's going on in the outside world. So, other than Dot Who... And I'm doing that because I've really exhausted what I want to watch on YouTube, pretty much. Unless somebody posts a new video. Like, for instance, I watched John the Bibliophile Colorist the other day doing his Chibi Girls picture. Which was really cool. Um, the only thing I've, I've started re-watching is um, a channel called Hollywood Graveyard. And it's hosted by a guy named Arthur Dark. And he's got the most soothing voice. And it's just nice to sit there and watch them and see all these. It's, it is strangely soothing to see the graves of the famous people. So, for instance, so far, I've watched uh, Forest Lawn Glendale, Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills, uh, Westwood, Holy Cross, and Valhalla. And it's really good. So, basically, he goes around cemeteries in Hollywood and he films graves of famous people basically tells you a little bit about them and so on um they have done uh, new york as well 
and they've done a worldwide edition where the fans of the show filmed and sent them in. So yeah, it's really fascinating. I like seeing things like that because who knows if I'll ever get to travel to the States again. That may never happen, you know? So if it doesn't, I can travel by YouTube. So if you're into things like that, I mean, I like sandwiches, I find them very peaceful and relaxing. Check that out, it's really interesting to see all the different celebrity graves from Marilyn Monroe, Jack Lennon, Betty Grable, Reed Hayworth, Walt Disney, Clark Gable, Jean Harlow, Carol Lombard, all these great stars. Three Stooges, the Marx Brothers, some of them. Who else have we seen? Farrah Fawcett. They show where Michael Jackson's buried, even though you can't get to Michael Jackson's tomb. They do show that if you want to be close to him, the best place to go in that particular with Mr. Rio. I'll have to get that pink out again. Do that in a minute. And it's really cool. It's just one of those ones I like to watch. So it's like I buy old records when Max Evans posts a video, I'll go and watch it straight away. Recordology, I tend to watch the next day. And some of the others, it depends what sort of moods I'm in. Sometimes I'll binge watch like uh, with Weird World. But at the moment I am working my way through Doctor Who. Now I know today they had a, a watch along of the Day of the Doctor, which is the 50th anniversary special with John Hurt as the Doctor as well and David Tennant and Matt Smith, Billy Piper and Jenna Coleman um, but I haven't got that far, I'm watching them in order so I will watch it when I get to it I'm not gonna just stop and watch that one episode I want to watch them in order so i got a long way to go because I've got to go through all the Ponds episodes first and I haven't even got to Martha so I'll get through all those first And, uh, yeah. Then we'll get to the Day of the Doctor eventually. I am quite looking forward to it, because, I, like I said, I haven't seen it for a long time. It was a really good episode. So. When we finish this one, we'll go back to doing the one in Gothic um, Fairies. The Hannah Lynn Colour in Heaven book. I haven't touched that since we did the video on it. So we'll do that. We'll do that then when we've done this one. If I don't finish this one, I will finish it off camera because there won't be much left by the time we get to 30 minutes, I wouldn't have thought, so. Maybe just the sky or the bit I'm gonna do with gel pen. But I haven't done a video for a few days, like I said I've been watching Doctor Who and try and avoid too much social media. I do love my Facebook and I love seeing what everybody's colouring but to be honest I just don't want to see all the, you know, the virus updates because it's, it's, it's quite, some of it's quite scary and the best thing to do is just shut it off and just not look at it sometimes. So while I'm keeping up to date with the news, I'm just trying to stay off all the stuff but uh, so we're watching Doctor Who and uh, obviously see BBs with Jennifer because she loves her see BBs. But we're all we're all keeping well. But I've still got a stinking cold. But other than that, we're all really well. I mean, I don't feel ill at all. I mean, I've got a bit of a sniffle, but I don't feel ill. It's great. I, I mean, I haven't felt as well as I do now for a long time, which I'm pleased about because I'm trying to eat healthier and and you know, drink healthier stuff and avoid alcohol, avoid too much rubbish. Although I do still have a bit because I think you need it, some comfort foods. Um, just to try and stave off any infection, chest infection that could make me ill, make me susceptible. But yeah, I feel really good. I have got a few colouring books coming and I thought, you know what, I need some treats. And I had the money from my um, computer games I sold. I sold my two copies of Project Zero. I had Project Zero 
for PlayStation 2. I had Project Zero One and Project Zero Two, Crimson Butterfly. And I thought, Do you know what? I'm never gonna play them, they're too scary. And if I wanna see what happens, I can just watch the walkthroughs on YouTube. So I watched the whole of uh, Project Zero One. I haven't watched the end of um, Crimson Butterfly. I'll have to go back and watch the rest of that. And uh, I sold them and I thought, right, I'm gonna buy myself the Everbend markers, that are the, the skin tones. But sadly, they've not come back in stock and I can only think it's because of what's going on. So I've ordered the Touch New ones because I've got Touch 5 Touch New markers. They're a similar brand and I thought I like them and they last fairly well. So I thought I'll get them, they look fine, I'll give them a go and uh, see how they are. So hopefully they've dispatched, they should come sometime next week. Now I know that Amazon aren't prioritising stuff like this, they're prioritising important things and that's fine. I, I can wait for them, it's not a problem for me to wait at all because I can, you know, it's, it's not... I've got plenty of colouring books that I can colour in. I've got plenty of supplies. I can use pencils in a book. And I've got like three or four whips on the go. I said, how many have I got? One, two, three, four. I want to say that I'm currently working on to try and finish for this month. So there's this one, the one in Gothic Alchemy I haven't finished yet. The one in Gothic Fairies I haven't finished yet. I've got this one, obviously. And then I've got a mandala in, I think it's in my flower mandalas, uh, my Creative Haven one by Marty Noble that I try and do one picture in a month because I'm trying to do the whole book. So I've got that one as well. I've also got my Jade Summer Magical Patterns book down. So I can do, do one in that. because I just do them when I'm watching telly and Jennifer's around. Because that's like I said, it said, said to Paul, if she gets hold of it and scribbles on it, it doesn't really matter because, you know, it's not a picture like this, which I want to look nice. So. These ones tend to keep her out of the way and only get out when she's in bed. There we go, I'll say you're done. I'll just get a, what should I use? Peach on it each one out and do her ear because I missed that last time we were colouring. Okay. I usually use peaches and cream but like I said it's running out. Okay I'm just going to have a sip of my tea and we'll do the flowers, well the leaves down here. So we're just going to go for green. It's a darker green. I know dark isn't the best thing to use on grayscale. It still works though, because they dry a lot lighter. I'm sorry, I'll focus there we are. Then they, they do, so. This is cactus green apparently, which is A556. This side as well. Excuse me, sniffling. So, yeah, I'm quite enjoying this one. I might watch another episode of Doctor Who. After I've done this, I might not. It depends what time it is because it's, oh, it's ten past eleven. So. Yeah, my, my markers have dispatched today, so I'll probably just do this and turn it off and go to bed. Watch, watch the Idiot's Lantern tomorrow, but it is such a good episode. So I'm quite looking forward to watching the ones with Amy Pond and Rory. In fact, Rory, I'm sure, was in the Age of Steel as one of the um, just people going to be converted. I'm sure he was one of the ones march into his potential doom but luckily escaped. I'm sure it's the actor that played Rory. Um, yeah, we'll use the outline again. 
sure it was him. I've got a cup of tea here on the side as well. That I'm, you know, I am drinking in. So we managed to go to the park yesterday because the sun's finally come out and it actually feels a little bit like spring. And it is nice to be able to get out into the the sunshine. It's absolutely, it was lovely yesterday. It did cloud over and get a bit cold in the, um, the afternoon, but we were out quite early in the morning and it was nice to be, to be out in the sunshine down the park, Jennifer went on the swings and stuff and then, you know, because who knows how long we'll be able to even do that. And it's a shame because kids, they do need to run about. It's hard to keep them cooped up if you haven't got a garden. Luckily we've got a garden, but it's so wet out there at the moment. It's impossible to, you know, take her out there. It's just too muddy in, on the grass. Hopefully if you have a few days of dry, nice sunny dry weather, we'll be able to tidy it up a bit and take her out there and play outside. She can run around and all that good stuff. I do hope you're all keeping well and oops, you're not, uh, your mental health is okay. It's one of the reasons I colour, it's good for my mental health. I just, I just sit there and you can just forget the world. It's like Paul's the same, he, he doesn't colour very often but every now and again he says, like, he, he, he does have a colour, I've got a Star Wars book and he tends to colour in that one. And I just let him do whatever he wants with it. He I said, just don't colour that picture because that's what I want to colour, I told him which one I want to colour. And um, might do that for May the 4th this year, so for Star Wars Day. Uh, but any colours it in whatever colour he wants, I don't care. You know, he's done one where he put, did um, Obi Wan Kenobi in a pink um, Jedi suit, he did him in pink, his robes in pink, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that as long as Paul's happy. And he says, when he's colouring, he's so busy concentrating on what he's doing, he just forgets everything that's bothering him. And I say, well, that's why people do it. It's good for their mental health. Because you stop worrying about things while you're colouring. And you just concentrate on putting the colour on the paper. And it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. As long as you're happy with what you do. And it is true. So, let's do the rainbow. We've got a bit of rainbow here going up. And a bit coming out of her hair. So, we are... We've got the, the colours of, not the real rainbow, but enough to do red, yellow, pink, green, orange, purple, blue. So that's all we're going to do. We're just going to do it like that. I know it's not correct, but I'm a bit warm, so I'm just taking my dressing gown off because it's late. And we're going to do the rainbow. We've still got her eyes and her mouth to do. And her tankard. So we'll do this bit first. Excuse me, just sniffling away. So if we will use... Just use the one that's actually literally titled red. That's not red, that's punch pink. Red. So I don't know what it's just like. I've got a colour chart here somewhere, but we're just going winging it. Oh yeah, that's the one I want. Red. And that one. I'll do it on this bottom one as well. A bit there. There we go. There we go. That's the red one. The yellow. Use the Tuscan Sun one, I think, or shall we use a bit Bumblebee? Let's use Bumblebee. This is me just deciding what colours I'm going to use as we go because that's the way we rumble tonight. 
I don't know what that'll look like, but we'll soon find out. right but it don't look right pink and green so you just light green which is spring which I think we did use that on her dress somewhere so the coins in the jar and coins here we're going to use a glitter gel pen on as well as the star on her necklace and all these coins as well so I probably did that a bit off camera so put it up a bit so you can see it these don't actually line up properly but there you go. orange Pumpkin orange. <laughs> mm -hmm. See the green lines up with the yellow, the, but it would. The, oh, sorry, with the pink. The orange lines up with the green, but there would be enough if it was. Mm, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Pink and green, orange and purple and blue. Purple, we'll use violet. Uh, yeah, there's an extra one for some reason. You can't see what I just did, but I do apologize. You know, it's like sometimes you just can't see what you're doing. But there we are. I want to use a darkish blue, but not so dark because we're going to do the sky as well yet. So I'm going to probably use, well there is a colour called sky blue. I'm probably going to use, I don't know, Arctic maybe. Pale aqua. So for this one we'll use cerulean blue. Because that's a nice good colour. I'll have a look at how light the sky blue is and the arctic when I do it. There. And then we'll just do this bit down here. Orange. So that's that rainbow bit done. Oh, I've lost a top somewhere. Oh, it's the ginger one. Oh, what have I done with that? Oh, it's here. It does help if you put the top back on. And I, what I do is I tend to take it off the other end and put it on, and forget to put the other one back on. So I'm so used to what you taking a felt tip top off and putting it on the end of the marker, which of course you don't do. I'm just gonna have a look at the blues for her eyes. Sky blue is actually a really nice blue. I think I use aqua for her eyes. Aqua. Pale blue aqua, that's it. And then I'll do the sky in the uh, sky blue. It's actually quite nice. It's just got to get round which ones are clouds. Now, I've already the clouds are very, very pale grey. And I don't have, although there are loads of greys in this, I don't have the pale grey that I want. So I'll probably use one from the Touch 5 marker set. 
because they got like really, really pales. In there, we need a, um, oh, excuse me. Ooh, not feeling good. Uh, I need a pink for her tongue. I think we'll just use one though. Just one, which is cherry blossom. Hair. Sky really, and, and that's going to take a while. So, um, what colour should we do her jug? Let's have a look at the lightish. It's going to have to be like something really pale, like clear water or white diamond. I think we'll do it white diamond if I can find it. White diamond. So this is like one of the light greys actually that we could use. Um, so we're just going to do this. Yeah, I guess I could use clear water for the, for the clouds. But yeah, we're doing all right. I'm enjoying this. And I'll probably use a couple of different gold colors. One from the Link Shine pens. And one of the um, from one of my other ones my other sets I got so many pens and I am trying to use up some of the odd bits so I might use some odd bits on some of the coins in fact I might not use the link shine at all because I've got so many that are running out or haven't got much ink in and the idea was that I'd use them on these. I need to do her nails. I might get a light pink out for her nails as well. Yeah, light pink for her nails. I'll use, well actually I'm going to use watermelon pink which I think is a nice colour. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, like that. There we go, we've only got the sky and the clouds to do. Right, sky blue, sky blue. Right, we'll start over this side. Excuse me, like just slurping my tea at you. What have you been colouring? Tell me in the comments what you've been colouring in lately because I do like to know. Um, I like to know what you've been colouring and what you've been colouring with. Um, like I said, I've ordered a few bits. Uh, touch new markers I've ordered. And I've ordered a, a few more books. So I wasn't going to do a haul this month, but now I probably will. Because I think I ordered three books and I've got another one coming from Colour in Heaven. As well as the four weekly one I get which obviously we've, I've coloured in, which was the Gothic Alchemy one. Um, I've ordered the, the one that comes out on the 25th. It has been dispatched, so with any luck, as long as postal service is going all right, I should get it Monday or Tuesday, possibly Wednesday. Wednesday is the day it actually comes out. And it's, it's Ardman Animation, so it's like Shaun the Sheep and Wallace and Gromit and all them guys, so that's pretty cool. That should be a fun one to do. So we'll do a flip through of that. Um, I ordered a Jade Summer book. I think I ordered another Camellia Angel Cove one. And I can't remember what else. I can't remember, maybe it was just the two. It might have been just two. Oh, I, I know what it is. It was two Karen books and then a, a book on Rudolph Valentino to read. Um, it's one I've wanted for a while by Donna Hill, Silent Idol. It only ever used to be available on Lulu, but it's now out properly and I can get a copy of it on Amazon. So I've ordered that and that also came out of the money from my um, Project Zero sales. So eBay's kind of quiet, but I've not been working on it. I'll, I'll probably start again on Monday. Um, wow, 
we must be 30 minutes in already because it stopped recording and it I don't know what I was saying when it stopped I was saying I was getting the Silent Idol by Donna Hill which is about Rudolph Antin I've wanted it for a long time there's a lot of photographs in it but it was only available on Lulu I can now get it from Amazon so I've ordered that again it's not a priority thing it'll come when it comes as long as I get it I'm not gonna fuss about it I can actually wait So here in the UK, it's Mother's Day today. I filmed this Saturday night and you are seeing this on Sunday. Um, not a great Mother's Day. I managed to drop something off for my mum, a little present and a card. So I'm happy about that. That's the main thing. She's got something. And uh, I'm happy. So... So yeah, I'm just glad I managed to get her something. I mean, as like I said, everything's everybody's buying everything stupid. Because now the, the Prime Minister's ordered all bars, cafes, restaurants to close, except for, for takeaway food. You know, restaurants can do takeaways. Everybody's panicked buying alcohol for some reason. I don't get people. People are beyond me. That's why I uh, just keep to myself. Keep on colouring. I'm enjoying this. So yeah, I mean I haven't finished many pictures this month so far. I've done one, two, three, four so far. This will be number five. Gothic Alchemy number six. Gothic Fairy number seven. What I'm doing number eight in the mandala book. I probably average what I normally do, which is about ten, sometimes eleven. That's cool. I can live with that. I mean, it's like, even though I'm on annual leave and we're not doing much because, obviously, you're not supposed to go out. I don't get time to colour in the day. I just don't because I've got Jennifer and Jennifer is... Obviously, she's a very lively two-year-old. She wants attention and she wants to play. And yes, yeah, she can, she'll sit there and, <coughs> excuse me, scribble for a while, colour, play with her pens and, and do that. But then she'll, she'll want time with me or Paul and she'll want to play. And so I don't colour very much while she's around because She'll come over with her pens and start trying to colour on my book. So I kind of like, uh uh, don't do it. I said, I have a mandala book around, and then if she opens it up and scribbles on a page, it's not the end of the world. So she is trying to start colouring in the lines, to be fair. She gets like the, the CBB's books, and she's got a proper colouring book. And she does just scribble on it, but she does try to stay in the line. She knows that's what you're supposed to do. She just doesn't have the control of the pen yet or the crayons. That will come. One day it'll click and it, it might be another year or two, but it's just fun watching her. And she's like, look, you know, she has, and she points at it and you're all, oh, that's good. So, bless her. So we're getting out with the sky. Like I said, we use a very light, clear water, I think, for the, for the clouds. And then I'll, I'll go off um, and do a bit of gel on the um, coins and the stars. Because she's got a star on her face as well. We'll just go off and do, I'll do that on, on the... Uh, off camera and then you'll see the finished picture when I um, 
do my end of the month wrap up. So again, I was going to do a weekly vlog this week, except I couldn't find my camera. I started it, I did the first day on Monday, well I did a bit Monday afternoon. Couldn't find my camera on Tuesday, so then I just stopped. So one day, one day I will do one. Okay, it's not going to be very exciting. There's not a lot happening in the world. But, you know, maybe we'll keep on top of things. I'll do i I'll, I'll tell you what I think about the Silent Idol when I've got it. I haven't done any book reading reviews and I've hardly read anything lately again. Because when Jennifer's around, I just don't get the chance. And well, that's fine. That's how it should be. And of course, late at night, I do these videos so I don't get to read in bed. Sometimes I might listen to an audiobook in bed. I haven't done that for a while. If I can't sleep, that's what I would normally do. Just listen to an audiobook. So. Here we are. So, yes. There's lots of funny memes on Facebook about 2020, about how we should unplug it and plug it back in, reset it, reboot the year. Um, the other one is that in the UK, the clocks go forward next week. Well, they haven't gone forward here yet. They go the last weekend in March. And we're saying we should go for, we're not sure how far forward, but we think about four months should do. Um, if only we could. So I don't want to bang on about it because we're all suffering. We've all got our own suffers. Hardest thing for me is not seeing my mum and dad because I spend, or I did spend, five days out of seven, I would visit them for like an hour. And of course they miss Jennifer. But that's what phones are for. So I'm just glad that I am feeling fine. I've been a bit wheezy, but I've had a cold, so it's understandable. But it's nothing, that's, it's not out of control. I don't feel ill. I haven't got a temperature. I haven't got a sore throat. I feel, I actually feel really good, which is great. And I hope I continue to feel like that. I mean, I do get a bit wheezy when I get a cold. And of course, we're all a bit anxious, so not surprising really but generally I feel fine and I hope to stay that way oh, here we go let's do some colouring I do like colouring I was thinking the other day, do I really enjoy this do I really enjoy colouring or do I just do it to make videos for YouTube I thought, no, I really do like colouring. I like making the videos, to be sure, I do. And I love colouring in general. I mean, I'm not a very good artist. I can't draw to save my life. And I'm not the world's best blender. And I don't ever intend to be. I haven't got the patience. I draw, I, I colour because it relaxes me. And I enjoy creating some kind of art. I've tried drawing in the past and I'm just hopeless at it, you know. But I can sit and I can colour a page like this and just enjoy it and chat to you guys. You know, my friends all over the world, you know, I like to stay in touch, see how we're all doing, what we're all up to, what we're reading, what we're watching, what we're listening to. I haven't listened to music for a while. What we're colouring, what we're using, what products we want to buy. I'm thinking of getting the Everblend pencil, not the Everblend pencil, the Arteza pencils. But I'm also thinking, mm, maybe not, I don't know. Should I get another set of Prism colours? You know, I know that Black Widow are coming out with a new set once things settle down. That's been confirmed by Black Widow to me, because I asked them and they said, yes, there is. So, it's all on hold at the moment, but it's exciting, so I don't know. 
I need to do some work on eBay because I've not made my fees back this month and I know that eBay are planning on deferring fees if you're having trouble but I don't want to defer them, I don't see the point, that's just going to cause more trouble later on. I'm in profit for the year, I can afford to pay them, it's fine. So, I just, it's because I haven't listed anything and you don't tend to get very many sales if you don't list. And that's just my fault, I've just been lazy. Um, and I must stop, I must start listing a few bits. I've got plenty of stuff to list around the house. You know, that I've got bought, you know, I've got some clothes, I've got some cameras, a load of cameras. I've got some X, uh, Xbox games, I think. I've got some PlayStation 2 games, some DVDs. That are my personal ones that I'm planning on getting rid of, and if they're worth listing, I will. If not, they can just go down the charity shop. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people say, oh, don't buy DVDs, you can just stream it. But what about when that streaming service takes that program off and you can't watch it again? So, for instance, we know that things on Netflix aren't on there permanently. They, they take them off and then you can't watch them again. That's not for me. I like to own a physical copy. And the same with books. I will read. I do read digital books and I do listen to audiobooks. And I don't mind not owning a book. If I really love the book, I'll buy a physical copy of it anyway. So, for instance, the Jodie Taylor books, I always buy physical copies of. And the Andrew Cartmel ones, which that's coming out soon. That's in May, the next one of The Final Detective. So, I will buy a physical copy of that. Peter James, I buy physical copies of his book. I just like to have them. But I, I mean, any physical books I buy now that aren't an author I collect, I tend to try and get them cheap in the charity shops and then re-donate them back. Because uh, I, I don't need them. I keep my Marilyn collection books. I collect books on, on old Hollywood and film stars in general. But if I didn't enjoy it, I, you know, I would get rid of them. There's a few books I know I'm going to get rid of upstairs on the shelves. But at the moment, there's nowhere to take them. But I will. So. There we are. Nearly finished. And it's just the clouds and we can stop. So, I, I've ordered, I think it was Jade Summer Fairies I ordered. Yeah, Jade Summer Fairies Grayscale. I do like the way they do their grayscales. They're talking about doing another grayscale. I can't remember which one it was. I don't think it's one I've got either. If it's not, I'll have to get it. They were talking about it the other day. Do you like this? It's Unicorns. One of the Unicorns books. And I'm like, ooh, I think so. I think I might have to get that one too. I love my Jade Summer books. I got I've got so many of them. I need to colour in some of the older ones. I get magical patterns. I like to colour in every month if I can. I've got, I've got that down. I usually use my um, super tips. I might use my uh, God, what are they called sharpies in it this time for a change. I haven't used those for a while. We have so many different products, we just don't use them all. I find, I mean, for instance, my Erogeton pencils, I haven't used them for ages. I'm going to have to colour something with them soon because they are lovely pencils. I love them. They're almost pa very pastels. So we have a little, little, this is clear water, which is... A1505, and yes, I am reading them upside down just because I'm holding the caps upside down. Um, but yeah. And like I said, I'm not worried about when these new books come. They come when they come. They come before the end of the month, then they can get hauled. We do like our little hauls. I love watching people's hauls. I love seeing what they've got and seeing, do I want this book or not? I mean, I'm not big into colour by numbers and these spirographs. I, I, I don't get those. I, I couldn't do them. I'd do my eyes in. 
I kind of get why people like them. And Colour My Numbers is okay. I used to love um, the watercolour books that you put the water on and the colour appears. I used to love them. They were so hard to get hold of. But they, we did have them when I was a kid. I seen one the other day on somebody's channel, I think. Or on Amazon. And I thought, oh god, yeah, I used to love those. And Colour By Numbers, they're cool. But I always find that you can see the blinking number underneath the pencil or the pen. And I don't like that. And this, this, I mean, a lot of them, a lot of people who um, do them use this cross method. I just think it looks very pale. I don't like the, I don't like it. People do like it and that's fair enough. Um, but I, I just find it very hard to see what the picture is when you do it like that. But I totally get why people like doing it and it's nice to have different challenges, definitely. But we're all different and that is a good thing. I didn't ever think I'd enjoy <coughs> working in a grayscale book with markers and I do. So who knows, in a year's time I might be doing the X method in colour by number books. I'm always open to change and try new things because that's what makes life interesting. Try new things. I've still got two episodes of Picard to watch because I'm, I'm, I haven't watched that this week or last week. <coughs> I got a tickle. It's all this chatting. Um, yeah, I might watch that tomorrow. I can't see what I'm doing. So I might watch Picard tomorrow, but of course I'm also trying to watch Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who. I might go back and watch the very early episodes when I've done this, when I've watched all these. Because I do have, I know this, they're showing all of the existing classic Who on Britbox. I don't have that, I'm not going to pay for that, I'd rather buy them. I do have quite a few Dot Who DVDs. Not a huge amount, not, not all of them in no way. I have all of them. But I have a few. I have quite a few of the Hartnells, a few Troughton. I think I've only got one Pertwee, a couple of Tom Bakers, a few Peter Davisons, I think one or two Tom Bakers, and a couple of Sylvester McCoys. Certainly not enough. And every now and again, I think I want to watch this episode of Doctor Who, or I want to watch that. And if I've got some money, I'll go and buy one. And uh, that's what I like to watch. I mean, I don't watch the soaps. I know a lot of people here probably watch things like Coronation Street, and EastEnders, and Emmerdale, and Hollyoaks. And I couldn't think of anything worse to do. I just find them boring and unrealistic. I mean, Doctor Who's unrealistic, obviously it's sci-fi, it's fantasy. Um, but for something that's supposed to be based on real life, the soaps are just, just a joke, really. They're just so, everybody's always so miserable. Um, and I think there's enough misery in the world. We don't need any more. The only soaps I watch or have watched or will watch is that Holby City, or Holby as it's now called, and Casualty, which I really enjoy. But I haven't watched them for weeks. I didn't watch it when Duffy died, or the funeral. Again, because I find it very difficult to catch up after Jennifer's gone to bed, because there's so much else I want to do or watch. I do have them, record, some of them recorded. And I need to start watching some of them to get get them off the hard drive from my TiVo box. Oh, I'm sniffling now. There we are. We have only got a couple more clouds to do and then I'm going to call it a day. We have nearly been going for like, we've been going for 50 minutes. we only got 10 more minutes and it's going to shut off again. I've still got to touch up the skin on um, Gothic Fairies and decide what I'm doing on that. I've got to do the background for 
Gothic Alchemy and I'm going to try something new on that possibly. I might use the Neo Color 2s. I might use something else yet. I haven't quite decided. I'm going to have a little practice session. That'll probably be tomorrow night after everybody's come to bed. It's the first day in the last week I haven't actually watched the news to see what's going on. And it's quite nice and relaxing not to, to watch it. Um, I'm pretty sure Boris and co haven't had meetings today. It'd be in the weekend, because we wouldn't want to spoil their weekend by having meetings, so... Yeah, never, they might have. If not, the next one will be Monday. What will they plan to do next? And I'm just doing what I can. I'm trying to stay positive, I'm trying to stay healthy, and I'm trying to entertain you guys. I hope you are enjoying this one because we've nearly finished it. And we go back to, like I said, we'll go back to our blue alien fairy. I just wanted to do something different for a change. So I'm going to put some glitter on there and on her face and everything. I'm going to give her a bit of glitter. Because, you know, she's an alien fairy. She's going to be glittery. Goes without saying. I've enjoyed this one. I've really enjoyed this picture. I love it. I love the colours of her dress. I like her hair colour. I love my rainbow, my sky. I like my clouds. I've really enjoyed this picture. I really, really like these Jade Summer Grey Scales. And I never thought I would. It's like the Chippy Girls book. I love it. I, I know what I'd like to see is a proper Hannah Lynn Grey Scale. I mean, Hannah Lynn does have some slight grayscale in some of her books, but I'd like to see, like, one of the books done like this sort of grayscale. I think that would be really enjoyable. Not that I don't enjoy Hannah Lynn as it is, and I do, because I think she's, her, her pictures are fantastic. And I can't wait to colour another one. I might try and do another one this month using the markers. Because, of course, it's Marker Madness. with a John the Bibliophile colourist which is all good news so I've got to finish watching his video on his reading vlog because I started watching that earlier um, but I had to stop so there we go for various reasons I had to go and do something else so that's it so far I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a day here all I've got to do is the coins here here and up here and she's catching them in her jug and the stars here and here and we finished so I'm going to do that off camera now before I go to bed but that's it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it like I said we'll be back to gothic fairies in the next one if you have enjoyed it please leave me a nice comment down below and let me know give the thumbs up to this video and don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.